surfaces. And then once you have an exposed wire and water, we know that there's a, a real problem. This whole hosing situation just seems to me to be extremely sloppy. It just does not appear to me uh, to be the type of workmanship that when I read Keystone's literature, when I looked through their videos, I relied upon their representations that their quality was second to none. This is the underside of a slide. <clears throat> there was so much rust and corrosion underneath these slides. And before I took these photos, I actually washed underneath these slides. Uh, but this rust and corrosion uh, was so concerning to me that I actually bought cans of Rust-Oleum and, 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 and painted uh, areas uh, that were had a, a great deal of rust and corrosion that you certainly should not be seeing. Every one of those screws that's holding that underbelly on was was corroded and rusted to the point that I was afraid they would come off. So I went ahead and put Rust-Oleum on those. And again, this bulging underbelly, I don't know if that's normal, but I have never seen that on any trailer uh, before. Uh, in my life and this is the third trailer in the last three years that I have purchased from Keystone and Holman Motors out of Batavia, Ohio. Um, and this bulging in the belly, particularly after they have been up in there uh, doing a repair to a blown hydraulic line, uh, is concerning to me. I don't know if there's uh, uh, it, perhaps insulation uh, laying down there, something, some kind of weight. This is a keyless entry system that just started falling off. It's glued on with uh, uh, basically nothing, <laughs> just a piece of uh, like double stick tape. Uh, so that was falling off. I had no choice but to epoxy that on. Here we are in the interior. One of the speakers just fell off, actually created some dents uh, in the cabinetry, uh, but it must have fallen off. And again, you know, this is just an, another example of the quality of workmanship that I've noticed in the Keystone is uh, perhaps these folks are using power tools uh, and they're not using any kind of a ratchet or torque setting on their power tools. So they're screwing screws in until they completely strip. And if you screw a screw into wood or metal or anything until it completely strips, it is not going to hold. It, uh, it has to have the correct amount of torque to it. But there's where you can see the two marks that were made in the wood um, uh, when the speaker fell. This uh, must have fallen during a period while we were traveling. There is the other mark as well. The marks line up perfectly <clears throat> with the corners of the speaker, so it's obvious that these uh, these marks were made by that. The carpeting is a real um, a real challenge. Uh, there's there's this traffic pattern that just it just looks like there's been thousands of people through this trailer. Uh, we did not notice this during our walk through. We noticed it probably about a week or so after we had the trailer that this carpeting just seems very used. Uh, you notice this, this traffic pattern going up and down the steps. We literally have only used this trailer for, I don't know, 45 or 50 days and have only owned it for about three months. But uh, again, it's, it's mostly just been parked um, and we have not been using it. We just, uh, it's been in storage. Uh, but you can see along the sides how the carpet should look, yet in the center of the steps here, you can see that obviously, boy, there's been a lot of traffic up and down these steps. And I just cannot understand how a brand new trailer could possibly have um, so much of a traffic pattern on the steps. There you can see how the carpeting should look. That's an area of the carpeting that has not been obviously trampled upon. And there's how the carpeting does look. <clears throat> there's obviously a, um, uh, a traffic pattern where a lot, it just seems like an awful lot of people. Uh, there again, there's how the, that, that, that's how the, the, the carpeting should look. 
Uh, and uh, that's also keeping in mind that there's only been two adults in this trailer. And whenever we get in the trailer, we take our shoes off. We keep a rug by the door and uh, we just simply take our shoes off. We don't even wear shoes in the trailer. And to, to have this kind of wear, I just, I, I just can't conceive how this kind of wear is even possible. This is one of the outside steps leading into the trailer. You know, in Keystone's uh, literature and in their video, they indicate how the, uh, the frame is powder coated and, you know, they, they put such attention to detail. But to see this kind of rust on a trailer that's only three months old uh, just doesn't, uh, doesn't seem right at all. And uh, there was also, there was just no lubrication uh, on these steps whatsoever. Uh, so there's rust both on the left side there and on the right side and uh, underneath. And, and I mean, you know, it's not like this uh, trailer's been, <laughs> it hasn't really been driven. Uh, uh, we drove through rain once, but beyond that, uh, we, we haven't really been driving through any kind of really inclement weather uh, to speak of. So, you know, this, this rust is, uh, uh, is very concerning because, again, underneath the slides, as I also mentioned, there's substantial rust and corrosion. I don't know how these folks get these uh, RVIA stickers. Uh, from what I see, I really need to speak with those folks. I had two 6-volt batteries installed, two 6-volt deep volt uh, cycle batteries installed at Holman Motors in Batavia, Ohio. And you'll notice that the right one's crooked and it's because it doesn't fit. I actually had to replace it. Whoever put these 6-volt batteries in forced them in. And it actually cracked the battery, and I had to replace that uh, cracked battery. Again, you can see that you know these stickers are just falling off. There should be four, not three, little divots holding that onto the uh, propane tank. When I bought these propane tanks, I thought I was buying brand new 40-pound tanks. The trailer comes with 30-pound tanks. I wanted four 40 pound tanks and I don't know if these are new or not uh, these tanks are you know three months old they haven't been used hardly at all but to me um, they're either a very poor manufacturer quality or they're refurbished tanks but I don't I don't know they just don't seem like new tanks to me again some uh, photos of the steps that look like they're very old uh, or uh, rusted. Uh, light bulbs, this trailer has just been eating light bulbs, like somebody has left the lights on for a long time uh, before we took possession because within the first couple of weeks of owning this, I think we've replaced almost every light bulb. Here's another example of a cabinet where the screws had simply been screwed in until they stripped. I had to take them out, uh, put little toothpicks in the holes to give the screws something to bite onto, and, uh, and then uh, remount these cabinets that actually fell off. The traffic pattern on the carpeting, uh, to me, is just a real mystery because I just cannot understand how you could go from the carpeting that obviously has never been walked on in areas that it's never been walked on, yet you have this incredible traffic pattern, this, this, this wear pattern um, in this trailer that is um, uh, frankly stunning. I've, I, I, I just cannot understand how you could have uh, so much of a uh, wear pattern in a brand new trailer. Here it is on the edges. That's how the carpeting should look. I mean, that's that's you know how the carpeting uh, uh, really should look uh, throughout the trailer. Uh, but unfortunately, um, there's these wear patterns that are uh, really, really very, very apparent, and uh, and I just can't understand how you could have uh, such wear patterns. Uh, this is just by one of the vents in the living room, uh, and you can see the carpet really isn't in too bad a shape. Um, uh, but then you start getting into, you know, you start moving toward the edge uh, 
and, and toward the the area where there's traffic and there what a difference you know the difference is just night and day that's a very worn carpeting and I just cannot understand how this carpeting could be so worn uh, on a brand new trailer that's only been used for 45 or 50 days out of and, and, and owned for a total of uh, 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 just a few months uh, so that I find uh, I find very very curious I just don't understand how there could be this much wear this much of a traffic pattern uh, in a brand new trailer I'm, I'm, I'm very much at a loss about uh, about this uh, this traffic pattern thanks for watching the video I would very much appreciate any input